Okay. Okay. You're not going to like try to zoom in or out or anything? Not right yet. Okay. Um, it's easiest if you have a grooming table and if you don't, if you can put them up on top of a crate or on your woe table or something like that. Just getting the dog up helps make them hold still. Uh, the first thing I do is I use a Furminator type of tool. This is Bamboo is the brand. It costs about $10, whereas a Furminator costs about $30. Huey! So get a cheap knockoff because you're not going to use it enough to matter. Start at the head, or rather the neck, and work down and brush them with the Terminator, and you'll see it's pulling out undercoat. You actually have to kind of hold the skin tight so it doesn't roll with the brush. The first time you do this, you'll get a lot of hair out, but you'll probably have to do it about three or four times before the coat starts to really lay flat and not have all the undercoat underneath. You see how I'm kind of grabbing the coat and holding it so it pulls tight. And I'm really putting a lot of pressure. I'm not just gently pulling. I'm pretty much pushing down hard and dragging this through the hair. And she looks cleaner too. Always go with the direction of the hair growth and that will encourage the hair to lay flat in the direction that it's growing. So that's your first step. And you see how much hair I'm pulling out of Dazzle, who isn't really that hairy. And I don't know if you can really see the difference, but this side already looks pretty smooth compared to what we started out with. So that's the first thing I do. And I work that whole body from right behind the ears all the way back. And if you want to thin the pants out, the feathering, um, brush them out. Just use a slicker brush. Brush it out and make sure you don't have any mats. And then I use a coat king. It's a rake, but it has special little teeth on the end. And I don't know of any other tool like this. It's kind of expensive, which is why I let the dogs chew on it. Um, but seriously, it might run you as much as like 40 or 50 bucks, but I don't know of any cheap knockoffs for it, and it works really good. Stand up, Dazzle. So what you do is just treat it like a brush. Comb through. And all those pants are gone. But you're not cutting anything. You're just pulling out undercoat. And it still leaves enough feathering. The more you do it, the shorter the hair is going to get. You can also use this up here around the neck where the hair is really thick. It comes with different amounts of teeth. The more teeth, the finer it is and the more hair it'll pull out. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a ten tooth, just so you know. That's what I use on mine. So you do the body. You thin out the pants. Um, I don't know how much hair your guys have on the front legs, but I don't really do anything with them. And then the ears and the chest is where I do a lot. Okay, let me stop.